Hi everyone, it's Daria. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here today to share my plan for documenting December daily for 2022. And I'm going to start off with the album or rather a journal that I selected for this year. It is from Ali Edwards and it's actually from the 2020 uh, December daily release. So it is quite old at this point. Um, it is in this felt folio that's very like green and festive and inside it has a notebook and I've just been really into stamping and notebooks this past year and I really wanted to try something new so this is what I chose for a kind of the where my project is going to be housed. If you've seen my previous flip throughs, you might know that I've done December Daily in albums before. So for 2020, I actually used the 2019 Ali Edwards release album. Uh, it's this Merry Everything and a Happy Always uh, six by eight album. And it's quite chunky as you can see. So there's lots of memories here and this was my 2020 album this is the first time i've done december daily back then and i was very happy with how this turned out but the following year i decided to experiment a little bit and i actually went with the six by four album from ali and this one at the point that I'm filming is almost done, but not quite. But if you're watching this a little bit later, there might already be a flip through up on my channel. So I'm going to link my December daily playlist up at the eye and any flip throughs or other videos I do for December daily will be up there. So whenever you're watching this, you can check out the playlist to see what's uh, what other videos are available. So this album was also quite chunky and it was honestly so fun to try a different size that I've never tried before and experiment and do something new and it really pushed me creatively. So this is kind of my intention with this um, journal in a folio this year. I want to try something new. And because I'm quite new to stamping this year, I did allow myself to get quite a few stamps because I actually didn't really have any Christmas or holiday stamps before. So I told myself, you know, I'll buy whatever I like this year because I'm still building my collection. So I will go through that. But like I said, at first I wanted to show you what I decided to go with. And I did debate a little bit because I did love this floral album from Ali uh, that she released this year in her December daily collection. And I did, I did purchase it. I couldn't resist. It has gold foil on the cover. It has gold foil inside. So... I yeah had a hard time saying no to this one, but I just know that I need a little, little bit of a different format to keep things interesting and to stay excited about documenting throughout the month. And I might save this for the following year. As you can see, I'm not sticking to like a particular year's release. I go back a few years and I select an album that I purchased a couple years ago and I'm fine with that. But I do have to say that I also did buy the Heidi Swap storyline chapters notebook that came in her uh, hometown hometown holiday release um, for this upcoming Christmas. So I might use this for like journaling or something else. Um, I've never really used this format. It is a little bit bigger than Ali's notebook and I just, I'm a little bit intimidated by the size. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna hold on to this maybe for the next year, who knows? Who knows what I'm going to feel like in 2023, but for 2022, this is my choice. I'm going to be working with this uh, journal in this folio, and I might even do like a little charm or something here. We'll see. But I do want to show you what I've gotten as like the in terms of products this year, because I do have quite a bit of my stash from previous December daily releases from Ali, but I did buy a few things this year. So I'm going to make some space here. And first, I want to show the Ali Edwards products and then I'll kind of go through other companies as well. So I didn't buy the main kit this year. And this is the first year that I didn't actually get a kit from Ali. And that's just because I have way too many things from previous years that are left over. And also because I'm working in a notebook and 
it just doesn't make sense. I know I'm not going to fill up, um, like I'm not going to be able to fit in, I guess, a lot of the, you know, the chipboard and things like that. But I did get stickers, for example, because they're nice and flat. These tab stickers are my favorite because you can create tabs without creating bulk. So I really like those. And these are just, um, this was a pack of like three, I think, this year. And I just picked it up without even seeing what the sentiments were because I'm sure that I'll make it work and it will just add some interest to my photos. So these are the stickers from Allie and I always get the acetate embellishment packs that she releases. So in 2020 it was circles, last year in 2021 it was hearts and this year she had these cute stars and full disclosure I couldn't wait to use these so some of these are already used in my October daily like the black ones with gold foil for example but obviously most of these are Christmas themed so um, this is what's left off the pack it is quite large so I don't even think I'll be able to use it all this year which is exciting but this is how I end up with extra products right so I have these and I did purchase the felt numbers for the first time. I didn't get them in previous years, but I thought that these would be fun. I could use them in a notebook. They are quite thin compared to a lot of felt out there, but I still worry that it might be a little bit too thick. What I might do is like put the year on the cover because I did, um, well, actually I don't think I'll be able to do that because I, I bought two packs of these, but there's only two twos and I would need three twos for this year. So we'll see. But um, I do love these. So we'll see. I might I might just use them as for my regular numbers. But I'm quite excited about that. And I also got these felt presents. And again, I think they might be a bit too thick for a notebook. But sometimes I don't mind adding a little bit of bulk. So we'll see. Um, this might be a good idea. But I just love these colors. And I also know that like with these like green and red ones aside like the black and cream ones i can use for other projects for birthdays and other things right so it doesn't really have to be all in december daily i use it throughout the year and other projects as well i got the coated cardstock phrases around the tree peace remember believe joy and love uh, because these are again, they're not too thick and they're great for adding some sparkle. I don't have a mink machine um, I do have the ability to emboss things which I've never tried before but I'm excited to try my December daily this year So this is just a little something if embossing doesn't You know doesn't work out for me. So I wanted to have the ability to add something sparkly in there I did pick up a pack of these stars. These are cardstock with glitter on top that are actually, I think, from a year or two years ago from Ali, but I've used these so much. I think I've already went through like three packs in my project, so I'm just stocking up on these because I love them. And I always get the envelope pack because it's my favorite. I usually use this size of an envelope for my Christmas cards, but this year, I don't know if I'll be able to incorporate it. I guess I can put it on the, like, inside of my cover if I wanted to do that but I'm worried it's gonna be too bulky so we'll see how my um, album turns out first and then I'll probably decide but I think that this vellum pocket will work great uh, because it's flat and it's sparkly so I'm definitely gonna use this one this one is meant for a 10 by 8 uh, no 10 by 8 yes is that right yeah 10 by 8 um, album so because it's a bit too wide for a 6 by 8 um, so I don't know. This one I might hold on to until I decided to do a December daily 10 by 8 one year, but it's fine. They come as a bundle and I don't mind having extras. So that's kind of it for Ali's products aside from stamps. I did pick up a few things from Simple Stories. I really liked their Christmas release this year. They had Baking Spirits Bright and they had this mix and mingle collection so the colors actually work quite well with each other and I just love the kind of turquoise like greenish blue and obviously the pink I'm a sucker for the pink and I just picked up a few things that I don't even know like these I could probably use in my notebook but the chipboard is quite thick I might just peel off the layers because you can do that with your chipboard but the brads 
are definitely too thick for my notebook. However, I do like having these in general. I do use these in my regular scrapbooking and I'll save the Christmas ones for one of the next years. So that's fine by me. I love the brads. And I did get this very big um, pack of ephemera. And I'm gonna actually go through that because I haven't like seen it and I wish I have seen it all before I bought it. But the reason why I got it is, well, first of all, yes, I love the colors, but I had these like pieces of furniture in it that I just love. I wanna kind of create a scene in my notebook. And for example, it has like a Christmas village, like look how cute this is. And it has all the like nice colors. I almost wanna take inspiration from it for my own home decor. And it's just super cute. So I wanted to have those pieces with like the table with hot cocoa and cookies and oh, it's just so amazing. And I might obviously not use all of it this year, but again, I don't mind having it for next year's. And I do love some like pink and blue in my December daily, but I know not everybody does. So I do like having this collection on hand just in case I want to use it in the future and people start or stop I guess releasing pink stuff for Christmas for some reason I know it's quite or it's been in fashion for the past couple of years but that might always change look at this box of ornaments with like the little packing stuff it's super cute there's some sayings there's the joy and you know there's some words like festive and Christmas and there's a lot of um, like trees and snowflakes it's a tree with presents yeah I like I had a general idea what's gonna come in this pack but I never like went through it well I guess I couldn't go through it because I, I got it on scrapbook.com and they just had this photo from the back but I love seeing all these in person the stockings over the fireplace are so cute and I love again like there's a pink uh, there's a lot of these tiny pieces which makes things kind of hard to go through because there's like gingerbread cookies and cup and a lot of snowflakes and stars there's a present there's a box with candy or not a box a jar is what i mean these are fun like you know there's just easy to add an embellishment to your journaling page so yeah i think there's these are going to be great for journaling look at these cupcakes oh my god the nutcracker of course i am going to the nutcracker ballet i already have tickets so that's gonna be fun deck the halls that's nice i love wreaths so that's definitely going to be useful the little gingerbread house which i am going to make this year this box with presents flowers stars an ornament another ornament and another jar with peppermint um, candy uh, another ornament sweater present more pre like there's a bunch here right like oh look at this so, this makes me hungry um, yeah but I, I think it will, it will work super nice um, and I love you know hosting and stuff so I'll definitely decorate the table there's a bar cart oh my gosh I just I love this so much and it has like champagne and stuff and oh my god so cute a chair and a Christmas door yeah this is you know like you have the animals I think these will look cute on photos like it might be a bit too cutesy for my style sometimes but like I don't mind having that on hand and available if I feel like it so like I guess nutcracker um, ornament, another tree. You can create, you know, like a little scene with trees from all of this. Yeah, I think this could be super useful. There's the cake and holly and happy holidays and another snowflake and there's a mistletoe. So yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. But there's a lot, and I took everything out of the package to reduce the glare. But now I have to deal with this. So yeah, the simple story stuff. I think. I think it's fun and it just adds a little extra. So now I think what I'm gonna do is I'll show you some other stuff that I got and then I'll go through the stamps in case stamps are not your thing. So um, I did pick up the Paper Person Christmas release. So they had a few kits and I went with the one that 
was called Warmest Wishes. And the reason why I got it is because, so my partner is Brazilian and even though we haven't celebrated Christmas in Brazil yet, but we will at some point. So I want to have that kind of like Christmas at the beach theme. And I also loved the colors. That was, again, the only kit that had pink. It had these like kind of fun rainbows. Um, these are the cards. Um, and I think they can work in regular December daily, right? But just in case I can like keep them for next year or something. Um, if, you know, if we end up going to Brazil for Christmas, but I like the bright and like playful colors. So they kind of, you know, they go well with the simple stories, for example. And, you know, this flamingo card doesn't have to be Christmas. Nothing here like says like it has to be Christmas, but it could be, right? Um, again, the tree at the back. So there's, you know, there's some cards that are repeating and there's some designs that are unique, but I just love the color palette. Um, and yeah, these are such fun cards and I think this could also work for project life you know certain things like this like I don't even have to use in any kind of Christmas stuff at all warm holiday wishes yeah there's some that are kind of similar and repeating but it's good to have this stuff and there's six by eight papers that are also in the same colors like the colorful snowflakes this is so fun um this one I would probably cut up but I guess like this could also be one story, right? So maybe, um, I'm not sure about the yellow in my December daily. So, but again, like if I was celebrating Christmas in a warm country, maybe I would like it. Who knows? I don't know what kind of photos I would have. So again, it's good to have different options. There's some palm trees. If I go on vacation, I can just use this paper again. Like it does not need to be saved for December. I love this. I just, I love these types of patterns. I could just stick photos on and it kind of looks like creative, even though you haven't done much, but it's, you know, it's good enough. Like we need to get our stories told. That is the important part. Uh, the kit came with these stickers. So these are just the alphas, which I think will be useful. It also came with uh, these puffy stickers of stars. I did get extras, so I got two more. And I also got the puffy stickers for their other kit that was called Merry Measure because of one of the notes. Um, just in case, I usually document like my Christmas playlist and things like that. So, um, And there's the ephemera pack for this kit. It has a Santa um, in like a Hawaiian shirt with a drink and sunglasses. And he's kind of looks like he might be getting sunburned. So that's, that's super nice. Um, Happy holidays, sunny side up, a cactus with a Christmas hat, and flamingo. Like, these are fun and quite unique to me, at least. I've never done anything like this. You know, I haven't been to a place where they put lights on a palm tree, but I know in some places they do, so, you know, I think this will be useful. And there's labels and, like, just general kind of... Uh, phrases that can be used anywhere let's be jolly you know things like that so yeah I think this is gonna come in handy it does come with a stamp that I will point out when, once I'm going through the stamps but now we'll get to like I guess the last collection that I got or part of it I haven't gotten the bundle but I love the Heidi Swap um, hometown holiday collection they released this year I will start with the papers because that's what really sold me on it I love the kind of darker pink with the reds. I think she did a great job designing this. It's just, I love this color palette. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I need to have this. And this one is probably my favorite because it's so festive, but also it's like very me. I don't know. I, I love it. I think it's fun. And there's a lot of papers. I'm also going to flip through them because I haven't seen the flip through of this. So in case you want to see what's in the kit, you know, there's the distressed backgrounds with little trees. There's more trees. I really like Heidi's stuff. I did get her papers last year. They were quite a bit smaller, but I don't mind the 12 by 12, even though I never scrapbook in the size, but I do cut it up constantly. So I buy a lot of 12 by 12 papers. I've just never done a 12 by 12 layout, um, which is, I, I don't think it's a problem. It's just the... 
not even that the size is intimidating i mean obviously it is to me but i don't have space to store those giant albums and also like when you flip through them like i can't imagine this being a spread like you know i live in an apartment this is not not my reality right now to store those kinds of giant things but one day i'd like to try doing an album 12 by 12. one day i love this present paper like it's just the little details like the holly or like the little pieces of i don't know what it is like evergreen or christmas tree tucked in behind the bow i just think it's so cute and she has these like doors that you can cut out and you know make a layer with and I think it's gonna be super fun I love these wreaths I kind of want to color it in but I think I'm I'm gonna take her class um, for story storytellers for Christmas this year and I will um, probably do some stamping because I saw that she's doing that so I'm excited when the class goes online and there's some kind of very generic Christmas stuff. There's these like ledger papers, which I don't know if I need that many, but you know, you never know. The plaid, there's some red, you know, there's not just pink. This one I think is very similar to one of the papers she had last year, which I did use. I actually used her collection quite a bit last year. And these are duplicates, so I'm not going to flip through them because they're basically the same. And I love having two of each. I think it's useful, especially like if I'm covering two pages on a spread, this one is not enough, right? So it's nice to have two papers. The other thing I got, again, I didn't get the bundle. So everything is I bought is like a separate item. So I got the puffy stickers. Um, I thought they would be bigger, but it doesn't matter me. I actually think it would be cute to use these little ones and they're quite thin. So I think they should work for a notebook. Uh, these are the acetate, so they're transparent, but they thoughtfully put paper behind them so you can actually see what they look like. And I love acetate stuff, like see-through elements, so this is going to be fun. This one, I don't know if you can see, um, but it does have like snow on it and like little snowflakes, so it's super fun as well. The presents. I really like them. I like this paper and I like the acetate. Sometimes I like to pair it, so I think it'll be fun. And there's also a door with a Christmas uh, wreath. So I think, hmm, maybe this will be my opening page. I don't know, like I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm just looking for ideas right now. And I'm, I like to play with my products or just even go through them to figure out how to structure my album. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, this would be a fun opening page. Like you open the door to my Christmas story. Hmm. I might do that. So now I'm going to go through the stamps and I'm going to start with the 6x8 stamps because I actually don't have that many. The only stamp I had before was this one with the numbers and I use it everywhere. It's my most favorite stamp ever. I think this is the 2019 Ali Edwards release and she re-released it a couple times so I bought it later and I've seen it become available again. So if you're interested, grab that one. And by the way, anything is still available, I will link down below, like everything that hasn't sold out. Like for example, these numbers are sold out now, but everything that hasn't sold out, I will link for you. This one, I just got it and it was a 2021 20, release from Ali. And I super regretted not getting it, but back then I didn't really stamp, so I couldn't justify like spending almost $30 on a stamp this year I definitely can because I'm stamping much more and I'm super loving it so I am very excited to play with this this is um I think the 2020 um alphabet from December daily um from Ali's release and I've just seen so many people use it that I grabbed it and I need like more alphabet stamps so I got it but I haven't used it yet and the this one is from Heidi Swap and this is her hometown holiday. Oh my God, I can't pronounce hometown for some reason. Hometown holiday release from uh, 2022. And I just love like the big Christmas tree because there's a lot of stamps with little ones, right? So, and the light bulb and the giant candy. Like I like the big elements and because my notebook, you know, like it's quite big. So I think it'll be fun to play with those. And of course, like all the other things too, but the big pieces were the ones that really sold me on it one uh small like little tiny stamp i have is this new year's 
uh, stamp from Studio Calico and New Year's is a giant like holiday in my family because I'm from Ukraine and for us it's like when I was a little kid um, you know our version of Santa Claus will come on uh, New Year's Eve and on the first you wake up and you get the presents and so like that was the holiday for me and obviously now that I live in Canada I celebrate Christmas my partner celebrates it and you know, I still have my Christmas, like the Ukrainian Christmas in January, but New Year's Eve is really the big holiday for me. So I needed something to document it. So I have this stamp and I have a few more things that I'll show you. So let's start with the Heidi Swap stamps because they are like, she's like the genius of stamps for me. Like her stamps are so fun and I'm excited to learn more about stamping from her. And I like how she builds stuff. So a lot of her stamps are super buildable. Like. You can see the, the stockings, you can put the dots and stripes and the little embellishments on them. There's Santa with the sleigh and the reindeer. There's the car and the presents go on the car. You know, like there's a lot you can do with this one stamp. So um, this is from the hometown holiday release. So is this one. And it just has like a lot of um, kind of presents, like open me and like do not open until December 25th, like those kinds of elements. I will be making my own tags this year, and this is the idea I got from Heidi, so I'll definitely be using this stamp. This is her stamp that was like, I forgot when it came out, maybe this summer, then it sold out and I super regretted not getting it. So I got it and I'm gonna be using it for birthdays, but I will also be using it for New Year's Eve because I put up decorations. I will probably get balloons again, I like to do that. Um, and you know, like future holidays, I'll use it for Valentine's Day um, and like I said, birthdays and other things, but this is one of the stamps I'll be using for New Year's Eve. So yet another Heidi Swap stamp. Um, this one I think is from an older release and quite honestly, I don't know from when, but you can build a wreath with these florals. So I'm excited to try that even though I, I, I haven't done it yet, so I don't know how that's gonna look. But I did miss out on one of her stamps on sale that did have a like a little wreath that you could just stamp with. And because of that, I'm gonna have to be building my own. So it's a good thing that I purchased this one. Um, Heidi also has the firework stamp that I think came out for like um, July or something like that. But um, obviously New Year's Eve fireworks, like right there, there's a story I can tell with the stamp. and. Um, I think it will be fun to like do backgrounds on my page, things like that. Maybe I'll emboss some of them. That'll be fun. So that's it for Heidi's stamps. I did get one stamp from the Ali Edwards December Daily release this year, and it's the presents one. And it has like pretty big presents. And that's really the reason why I got these. Because I think it'll be fun to like stamp some and put some as like felt embellishments and create like maybe like do that at the bottom of the page and then do journaling on top or something like that. I think it'll be fun. And it has like stars and, um, um, oh my God, what's the word? Um, hearts, yes, hearts you can stamp inside. And what I really love about the stamp, it has a tag and you can put a little Christmas tree or a heart on it. It's super cute. And I do have another stamp from Ali. They actually have had for you, well, not years, two years. Um, but it came out in 2020 and this is the Paisley Press uh, design stamp for December Daily and I have used this one a ton you can see like it's it's seen um, a lot of use and many different inks mostly the pink ones but I love you know using this for happy mail there's a label stamp there's uh, really cute um, um, little captions so I like this one and now I have a few of the paper person stamps to show you so warmest wishes kit came with a stamp so this this is the stamp that was included i don't think you can buy it separately um but obviously i wanted the kit and i really really like this one because it has it says baby it's hot outside um and i love the leaves they you know you can like decorate with so i think it'll be versatile i'll be able to use it for other projects as well i did get the stamp for like documenting your ornaments and again, this is the Paper Person 2022 release. It's really fun and like, you know, you can build it and I just have a lot of like ornament stories to tell. So this will be useful for sure. I also got the baking stamp or I don't know what this one was like called again. If I find it, I'll link it down below. Um, but 
it has like you know my favorite baking partner which one of my friends my friend sarah and i like are always baking together so i do want to tell a story about that i'll definitely use the stamp i love the cookies and it's just you know it has like cake pops and like really cute little things here so i couldn't resist and one last stamp that i have is it actually was a paper person thanksgiving stamp uh, for 2022 um but I couldn't use it in my October daily because I already, you know, finished the Thanksgiving story for Thanksgiving here in Canada. Um, so I might use it for winter because I love pies in the winter. So I'm just putting it in the pile of my Christmas stuff. And that's it, friends. Like, that's kind of my plan. I definitely have some extra things that I'm going to include from, like, my stash, which by the way needs to be organized or reorganized. It's not organized at all. Let's put it like that. It's a mess. So this is just what I got this year and what I'm going to be working with in this notebook, but I will be pulling probably from other collections that I purchased over the years, but this is kind of my main plan. And yeah, I want to know about yours if you have one and, uh, you know, Tell me what you're excited about for this December daily. I'm super excited to play with all these products, but I think I also just want like to enjoy the holidays with my family, like really stop and take it all in and do the activities, but like not force it, not rush it and just, you know, like just savor it. That's what I really want to do. And I'm excited to start December daily soon. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with more videos as I work on it. And if you want to follow me um, through my journey of documenting December daily this year, then, uh, you know, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll be back with more videos soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.